Those of you who watched my recent interview with Dr. Chen Shu about tretinoin will know that I've recently started using this most potent of retinoids, also known as retinoic acid. That video gives a lot of information about how it works, what it's used for, how best to use it, and advice around how long. But today, I wanted to share my experience so far and a few tips for avoiding the worst of its side effects. I'm happy to say from the off though, that just three months into using tretinoin, which I ordered through the prescription skincare site Dermatica, I am seeing significant positive results on my skin in terms of both its anti-aging and skin clearing benefits. Benefits. But it's not all a bed of roses. So before I get into the detail, let me just take a moment for those who haven't already subscribed to let you know that I'm a journalist dedicated to bringing you independent reviews, advice and information. So if you want to see more from me on this channel, hit subscribe. Now for the rundown on the early stages of using tretinoin for skin rejuvenation. So it's a little more difficult to lay your hands on tretinoin in the UK than it is in some other countries. Until relatively recently, if it was for anti-aging purposes, you'd have had to go and see a dermatologist or doctor who was willing to prescribe that for you in person. But now there are a few online sources of tretinoin in the UK and among the biggest operators is Dermatica, which I believe also operates in the US. And you pay 20 pounds for each prescription plus postage, taking it to just under 23 pounds per delivery of these little 15 milliliter tubes. In the US, I believe it's priced around $24.99 a month plus postage. And there are other sites doing very similar things. So it's always worth checking out the options. But for me, Dermatica, I felt was reasonably priced and easy to use. So I went with it first as a first route to tretinoin. Now, when you sign up on the Dermatica website, you answer a few questions about your skin and your skincare needs, and you give details about your age and your general health. And then they come up with a prescription for you. The first month, you only pay a few pounds to cover the postage to try it out. And typically with tretinoin, they will start you on the lowest possible strength, which would be 0.015, which is what I started out on. And the idea is each month you're sent out a new prescription and you build over time. So the next month you get 0.025 strength tretinoin and then 0.05 and you can go all the way up to 0.1. Studies suggest that while the highest strength would give the fastest results, the lower strength 0.05 can also achieve significant results, but just takes a bit longer. Now, one of the reasons I may well stick at 0.05, which I just started in the last week, is that with each increase in strength comes the side effects of flaking and irritation that have become synonymous with tretinoin. It is the most potent retinoid. It gets straight to work on your skin, speeding up the turnover cycle of our skin cells so newer, healthier cells take their place. That's gonna exfoliate and clear the skin and it's going to visibly improve the texture of your skin and reduce fine lines and wrinkles, but it is putting your skin through its paces. And I feel that 0.05 is fast enough for me right now. I was persuaded to step up to tretinoin after using retinal or retinaldehyde for a couple of years, retinal being one conversion step away from retinoic acid. This video here should help if you want to understand the difference between retinol, retinal and retinoic acid or tretinoin. And I decided to step up to the most potent form after seeing some of the incredible results reported by other YouTubers. Some of them, it almost looked like they'd had a facelift after longer term use of tretinoin because their skin was so rejuvenated. As well as smoothing your skin, tretinoin also boosts collagen production, so it's going to look tighter and plumper, particularly if you're starting off from a base where the signs of aging are not really advanced on your skin. So approaching 50, I thought this was good timing for me. The delivery default for Dermatica is they will send you out a new tube each month. So four weeks after starting on 0.015, I received a tube of 0.025. 0.025, but I kept using the lower strength to see how long it lasted, and I went a full eight weeks on one of these tubes. 
I've just within the last few days moved up to 0.05, which is where I'll stay for the foreseeable future. Each time you step up in strength, you go through the same cycle of dryness and flaking for a week or two before your skin begins to adjust and settle and eventually get used to it. So I use one full pump of the Dermatica Tretinoin, which also includes niacinamide, which is a form of B3, to help reduce irritation and dryness. I find that one pump of tretinoin really goes a long way and you can pretty much cover your face and upper neck with it. I wash my face first in the evening and I only use tretinoin at night. Then I apply the tretinoin by spreading it uh, over my forehead, gently sweeping it across my face, avoiding the eyelids, save for a tiny sweep just under the brow to try to avoid the tretinoin getting in my eyes and potentially causing dryness and irritation. Most experts will tell you to avoid the eye area with tretinoin completely, but I really want to improve the texture of my upper lids under the brows. I'm just using it extremely sparingly and cautiously up there. I've actually recently stopped using moisturizer in the morning because I find I don't need it, but I just go straight to a vitamin C serum and then my sunscreen and foundation. But at night, after applying the Tret, I'll then apply a little moisturizer on top and take that down to my neck and chest area so that that will get a thin spread of tretinoin as well. I have had several people say to me that they started and promptly stopped tretinoin because of the irritation they experienced early on. And I have to say that while I have certainly experienced skin flaking, maybe a little redness and itchiness with each step up to begin with, I haven't had a lot of, of what I would describe as irritation. Here's a photo of me a couple of weeks into using tretinoin where you can see a little bit of redness, but not a major deal. The level of irritation will vary from person to person and will also depend on whether your skin is used to using retinoids, which mine is. But the lower irritation I've experienced is also probably due to starting on a much lower strength and building up slowly. And perhaps there's something also about the Dermatica formula that makes it a little easier to tolerate as well. After moving up in strength each time, I get a bit of flaking skin, particularly either side of my chin and the sides of my nose. And my skin can look dry for a couple of weeks, but interestingly, three months in and having just moved to the 0.05, my skin looks flaky. Here's a picture I took first thing today, but it doesn't feel dry and tight. And that's because under that surface layer, there is now, three months in, a layer of well-hydrated skin because the tretinoin is stimulating my skin to better hydrate itself. So with each step up, the dryness lasts around a week or so and then it starts to settle down and you start to see the benefits. And by six weeks, you're generally in your stride with that new strength. If you're not and you're still experiencing irritation and flaking six weeks into your new strength, you might wanna think about stepping back to a lower strength. To counter initial irritation, if it's bothering you, you could try applying moisturizer and let it absorb for a few minutes before applying tretinoin on top, or leave a day or two in between treatments. Um, or you could apply the tretinoin, leave it an hour and wash it off so you're getting a partial effect for a while and build up slowly to leaving it on overnight every night. For me, it's good to note that this was the last step up in strength uh, for the time being. And so it should be the last time I go through the skin flaking side effects as I settle into the 0.05. Just before I made this last step up in strength, I was really beginning to notice the effects. My skin felt extremely smooth. It's really clear. Uh, my pores have definitely shrunk. Um, I was beginning to notice these enlarged pores. I was wondering how I could shift, but this has already done that. The biggest change I notice is the hydrated, thicker texture of my skin. And that's most noticeable in the skin under my eyes, which appears plumper, smoother, and with my dark circles reduced as well. So I've been seeing visible textural changes in just a few months, and I would expect they will continue once my skin adjusts to the higher strength. Using retinal, I thought my skin was smoother, the texture had improved, but those results were more subtle. With tretinoin, the results are faster and more noticeable, but you have to put up with the irritation. So my skin is being retexturized. The finer lines around my eyes are going, and I'll be interested to see longer term 
if I see an improvement in my deeper lines above my brows, which are pretty stubborn. Just a little more detail then around ordering and using the Dermatica Tretinoin. Through the account on the website, you can change your delivery date. So you can alter the default monthly delivery and arrange for the tube to be delivered at a later date. And you only pay for what's delivered. So if you make one tube last eight weeks, as I can, uh, you just get it delivered every eight weeks. I hope this video was helpful. If you're considering trying Tretinoin, my Dermatica experience has been a positive one so far. And because I can delay the deliveries to a time of my choosing, the cost I think is reasonable as well. But I will do another video on this later in the year with an update on the longer term results and I'll keep updating you. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow that journey. Do you use Tretinoin? What's been your experience and where do you get it prescribed from? I always love to hear from you wherever you are in the world. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <music>